Hi, I'm David Gheddi from STMAC Electronics. I'm in System R&D, working on sensor-related applications for Industry 4.0. Today, I'm going to present you the ST-Win Kit, a new open development platform for industrial applications, such as condition-based monitoring. ST-Win comes with industrial sensors, VLE connectivity, and high-speed data logging software. Now, let's go ahead and open the blister to have a look at each element. The kit is composed of one board, the ST-Win, one small lithium battery, a plastic case with screws for mounting, and an ST-Link programmer with its programming cable. Let's have a look at the ST-Win board. At the core of this small 5x5cm PCB, there is the STM32L4+, an ARM Cortex-M4 with ultra-low power capabilities. This is a Bluetooth low energy module based on the Blue Energy One system on chip. Among the most important components on the ST-Win, there are the sensors that provide highly reliable and high resolution data. Here we have three accelerometer, one specific for low power application, the other one featuring a flat frequency response for vibration monitoring at up to six kilohertz, and another one which combines uh, accelerometer and integrates a machine learning core and a field state machine to provide ultra-low power integrated processing capabilities. Then we have a magnetometer to measure the magnetic field, environmental sensor to measure temperature, humidity and pressure, and two microphones, one digital and one analog, that can go up to 80 kHz in the ultrasound range. There are also a few expansion boards that are not part of the main kit, but can be plugged in order to add more features. Here we have a Wi-Fi module compatible with the ST-Win and a small plug-in board with a microphone array. We also have the possibility to add cellular connectivity and we will make a dedicated video for that. Today, we are going to concentrate on the Bluetooth Low Energy connectivity and see how to use the preloaded demo software, which is the Predictive Maintenance Function Pack. First, we need to power on the ST-Win and we could do that using a battery but the easiest way is just to plug a micro USB cable. The ST-Win is now waiting for an external connection via Bluetooth. So we just need to download the ST-BLE sensor app that is available for both Android and iOS. Let's open the app, search for nearby devices and click on the name to connect. After a few seconds, we are already able to see the data coming through. Now, I've prepared this setup with the, another ST-Win mounted in its plastic box to perform some vibration analysis. The device is battery powered and is already on, so we can connect using the app like we did before. Let's concentrate now on the second page of the app that is for FFT analysis. In this section, we can monitor the spectrum of the accelerometer data. It's possible to tune also some parameters, both for the sensor and for the algorithm. As you can see here, the board is now processing the data and sending the resulting FFT to the app via Bluetooth. Nothing in particular is going on right now, but if I turn on the motor, we can see that other peaks appear in the spectrum. With this setup, we can also simulate an imbalance problem by bringing this magnet close to the rotating wheel. The magnets on the wheel and on the support interacts with each other, generating additional vibration that can be easily seen in the spectrum. Here is another nice feature. A set of thresholds can be configured in the firmware in order to notify the user whenever something is not right in the machine that is being monitored. As long as the motor is running in normal condition, all the parameters are checked to be in range. But again, if I move the magnet to close the wheel, the board raises some warnings and alarms depending on the severity of the detected problem. Thanks for watching this first video on the ST-Win. More will be uploaded in the coming weeks. Be sure to check them out. For more information, you can visit st.com slash ST-Win.